This conference will now be recorded. Now, is it audible? Okay, fine. <coughs> right, so let's start. So now, uh, today we'll discuss uh, how to create the views. Okay, so already we know how to create the tables. Now let us see how to create the views on the table. So what is a view? A view is a reusable dictionary object which does not exist physically. Okay, so the difference between a table and a view is the difference between a table and a view is table exists physically. Table stores the data physically, whereas a view does not store the data physically. Okay, so it is a virtual table. The data in the view will be populated only in the runtime. Okay, a view does not hold any data by default. Okay, a view does not hold any data by default. Okay, so what is the purpose of a view means? See, the data is uh, the interrelated data is spread across what many tables. Okay, the interrelated data is spread across many tables so now i want to what access the data i want to what get the fields from different tables and put it as what single object so for that we can go for what view suppose if you take uh, sales data we have sales header data and sales item data spread across what many tables like vba can what vbap I can get the data, I can get the fields of those two tables and construct it as a single object. Okay. Similarly, if you take purchase document data, we have what purchase document, header data, and item table, EKKO and what EKQO. I can take the required fields. I don't require all the fields. I can take the required fields from both the tables and construct it as a single object. Okay. Very clear. So the actual tables will contain what many fields. I don't want to expose all the fields or I don't want to expose the entire data of the table. So what I can do, I can create the view. So a view can be created either by referring to a single table or it can be created by referring to what multiple table. So while creating the view, we can select only what required field. So we can hide the original table fields. And we can give access to only to what required data. Okay, I don't want to expose the complete table data. Okay, I want to expose the data which satisfies a particular condition. So those things can be achieved by using what views. So once a view is created, it is a reusable dictionary object. Okay, we can also use it in our repository object. Suppose if you take our uh, what select statements. In order to get the data from multiple tables, we go for what joins. Okay. Suppose by by using a single select statement, I want to get the data from two or more dependent tables. So we need to use what joins in the select query. So using joins in the select query is what complex, and using too many joins in the select query also 
will degrade the performance. So we can avoid these joints by creating a view on top of multiple tables and specify that view and specify that view as part of what select statement. Okay, so these are all the advantages of what views, but view doesn't exist physically. So you can see here. A views are used for hiding the original table names, hiding the original field names, restricting the access to our table data. Instead of exposing the complete table data, we can give access only to our limited data, which satisfies what certain conditions. Okay, and we can also avoid joins in the select statements. How do we avoid the joins in the select statement? We can create the view on top of those dependent tables and then specify that view as part of what select queries done so these views there are four types of views in above dictionary database view projection view maintenance view and then what help view okay database view projection view maintenance view and then what help view so if you take database view it can be created either on single table or what multiple tables it supports both projection and what selection what do you mean by projection projection is the process of selecting only what required fields suppose my table contains 200 fields i don't want to expose all the 200 fields so what i can do i can create the view with the required fields that process we call it a projection and then selection is what giving access to only what to limited table data assume that my table has got some one lakh records i don't want to give access to the complete one lakh records i want to give access to only those records which satisfy certain condition so that process is called about selection projection is nothing but selecting required fields selection is nothing but giving conditions on what table data access Okay, and this database view, I can create on one table or what multiple tables. If you create on single tables, the maintenance status can be read only or read and change. So read only means I can only view the data. I cannot perform other database operations. Read and change means I can read the data as well as I can perform the other database operations if you create the database you have multiple tables it is always read only okay and uh, just like for uh, database tables for some of the so for some of the view types we can generate the table maintenance for maintaining the view but for database view we cannot generate what table maintenance okay and whenever we create the view on multiple tables we must provide the join condition between the two tables we need to compare with what logical related fields otherwise it leads to something called as what cartesian product so what is that we'll understand so first of all let us create the view so what is the purpose of creating the view instead of exposing the complete table or instead of exposing the complete table data we can hide the original table name, we can hide the original field names, we can hide the entire table data, okay, by creating this views. Views doesn't hold the data physically. That's why we call them as what virtual tables. The data in the view will be populated only in the runtime. When you try to access the view, at that time, SAP is going to get the data from the base tables of that particular view and populate that particular data in the view so it doesn't hold any data physically that's why it is called a virtual table so let me create what database view first i can create this database view either on single table or what multiple table so let me go for creating the table creating the database view so if you go to above dictionary sc11 we have the table k neval one second we have a table k neval table so if you see this table this table has got some 212 
fields. It contains some 212 fields. Okay. And it contains some data also. It contains some 8000 change record. So I want to create the view on, on this particular table. And I want to what expose only few fields. The process is called the projection. And here I want to expose only those records uh, where the customer country is either uh, India or what Argentina. If it is other than India or Argentina, I should not give access to the table record. So that is what is my condition. Nothing but selection. Selections. Okay. So let me create the view now. So since we is also a dictionary object, we create in SC level. Here it is asking the view name. I'll give the view name. Let me give the view name as something Z645 database view one. Z645 database view one. I'll create. Done. Okay, so it is asking what type of view you want to create. Database projection maintenance view or what I'll, I'll go for database view provide the description i hear the description so you can see here we have a tab here table or join conditions we have a tab of table or join conditions so in that table or join conditions in that it is asking the table name base table name from which table on which table you want to create the view so i'll give what k never k never so as of now i'm giving only what one table k never done so since it is only one table you will not have any join conditions if you create more than one table if you provide more than one table then we need to give the join conditions we'll come back to this later on then in the view fields, I can select the required fields. This process is called as a projection. So I'll go to table fields. It is going to list out all the 215 fields. Let me select the fields. So I'll select MANDT customer. So it is recommended to select the key fields, not compulsory. So I'm selecting MANDT customer number, land one, name one, and ORT zero okay so five fields i'm selecting that then so i took what i selected only five fields from the base table this process is called as a projection and after selecting the required fields we have the option to change the field names also suppose here the field name at the view level is what ORT zero one I'll change it to what city. So I'm changing the original field name, not in the base table, but in the corresponding view. Right? So I gave the field name as what city here. The existing field name I'm changing it to city. This process is called as a projection. Selecting what required fields. Next in the selection conditions, I want to give a condition. On which on which field you want to give the condition? Land one. So I'll just choose land one here. I'll click on table fields. I'll choose land one. Then operator. I'll use some operators here. I'll choose equal to comparison. Land one is a character field. So I'll give some values here. AF, Afghanistan, or I'll choose R. Then K never hyphen land one equal to what AR Argentina R K Nevan hyphen equal to what India. So I okay, this are my selection conditions, right? So land one should be either Afghanistan, Argentina, or India. Then I created this table on what only I created this view only on single table. So if you go to maintenance status, we have two radio buttons, read only and read and change. Read only means at the view level, I can only view the data. I cannot do any other, I cannot perform any other operations. 
suppose if you want to allow all the operations at the view level, I have to give what read and change. We should be very careful when you are giving read and change. If you are giving read and change, and if you are doing any changes at the, if you are doing any changes to the data at the view level, it will reflect what base table also. So if you are okay with that reflection, then only you have to give the permission as what read and change. I repeat. If you give the permission as read and change, it means that I can perform all the database operations at the view level. What are the changes you make to the data at the view level will reflect the corresponding base tables also. Okay, so I'll choose read and change. Since it is read and change, I can choose the permission as what display maintains allowed. Display maintains allowed. Done. So I selected these fields. This is projection. And this is selection, and I get a maintenance status. Let me save it and save it in the local object. Check for the syntax. Okay, so view must be created in the database. So you need to activate so that it gets created in the database. So I'll activate this. Done. Then, so the view got created on the database. Fine. Now, if you see here, I can see the contents here. I'll go to contents. Number of entries. The original table contains 8,000 plus records. Now the view contains what? 14 records only. This 14 records are also populated from the base table. What is the base table for this view? K never. So if I execute this, it will show only those customers whose land one is either Argentina or India or what? Afghanistan. Okay, so only 14 and records satisfy that particular condition. Okay, and if I do any changes, suppose here I'll select the record. Okay, I'll go to table entry change. I can change the non-key field values. So I'll change it to Suresh Kumar. I'll give the city as something Hyderabad. So this change will reflect the base table. So what is the customer number here? 4674. I'll save it. It will also reflect the base table. So 4674 now. So if I go to K11 table. 4674 and I execute this. So H Kumar and the city is changed to what? Understood. So we should be very careful when you are giving the permission as read and change at the view level. Any changes made to the data at the view level will reflect the corresponding base table data. Okay, so this database view I create on what single table. Okay, and let me check whether I can generate table maintenance for this. I'll choose utilities. The table maintenance generated is uh, grayed out here. It is disabled. It means I cannot generate. I cannot generate table maintenance for database. So why I'm checking for this uh, table maintenance is, if you observe, if you go to SM30, you can see here it is asking what table slash view. Anyhow, we can generate the table maintenance for every custom table we create. Similarly, I am checking whether we can create the table maintenance for database view. We cannot create. Might be table maintenance is supported for other types of views. So we'll see that going forward. Okay, done. So I created the database view on what single table. Now let me create a database view on what multiple tables. Okay, so when do we create the database view on multiple tables? If the interrelated data is stored across many tables, instead of referring to all the tables, I want to what? I want to combine the required fields into one object. Okay, I want to give access to the data through only what? One object. So at that time, we'll create the database view on what? Multiple tables. So instead of using the joins in the select statements, I can use what? database view done so i want to create the database view on what sales tables like vba can what vba so i'll go to z645 in sc11 i'll give the view name as z645 db view to create 
I'll choose database view. Done. I'll give the description. Done. So here I'll give the table name. I'll give the table names as VBA K and what VBAP. So whenever we create the database for multiple tables, you must provide the join condition. Okay, if you don't provide the join condition, also we can create, but it will result to what Cartesian product. It will result to Cartesian product. Okay, so we'll see what is that Cartesian product concept. So if you see this VBA table. This table has got 158 fields. And we have VBAP table, sales document, item data. It has got some 385 fields. So now let me create the data on these two tables. I am not giving any join condition. And if you observe, VBAP table has got some records. We are having around uh, what 10,000 chained records, and if you take VBAP, there's got some 18,000 chained records. Okay, done. So now I'm not giving the giant condition, I'll go to view fields, table fields. First, so these are the base tables for this view now. Understood? I'm doing the projection now. I'll choose VBAK first. I'll set the required field. So from VBAK, I want MNDT, webland, date, date, time, and the name of the person was created. Five fields I'm selecting from VBAK. Then I'll choose table fields. Let me go for VBAP. Okay, again, it doesn't make sense if I choose MNDT and webland because already it is selected from the VBAK table. So understood. Anyhow, we know that an internal table or a database table or a structure cannot contain two fields with the same name. Similarly, a view also cannot contain two fields with what same name. So any of these fields are already selected. I'll select PYSNR and what METNR. PYSNR and what METNR. So two fields I'm selecting from this table. Done. Okay, there's a data. Okay. Now this is my projection. So let me save it. Okay, check for the syntax errors. When I do syntax check, yeah. When I select, uh, when I, okay, I'll come back to this. So I want to give the condition also, selection condition. Okay, I don't want to give access to all the records. I want to give access only to those records uh, where the sales document range is from 4970 to 4975. So what I'll do, sales document field is there in what? Both VBA and what? VBAP. I'll choose VBA K webland sales document, done. And here I'll say, operator, I'll give it as greater than or equal to. Sales document is what? Character field. So I'll give 4970, okay? And I want to give the range. So I'll browse, let me give it as and. Then again, VBAK Weblen. VBAK Weblen. I'll say what? Less than or equal to greater than or equal to 4970 and less than or equal to what? 4975. Since it is a character field, I have to give that value not single quotes. Done. Done. Okay. And I created this database on two tables now. So if you see the notes that I gave earlier, if a database is created on multiple tables, the maintenance status is always what read only. So if you go to maintenance status now, you can see read and changes are disabled. Only read only is selected. What is the warning I got here? You can only read a database used with what more than one table. Okay, so let me check whether I'll get any syntax errors. When I do syntax check, yes, I'm getting a warning here. View allows read only access, maintenance not possible. So here I must give the maintenance status as read only. If it is read only, 
I can only read the data. I cannot do any creation, deletion, and updation. So, what is the maintenance here? Table maintenance allowed. Table maintenance allowed means all the four operations are supported now. So, which is not correct. So, that's why I'll choose what display maintenance allowed with restriction. So that we can only read the data, but I cannot do other database operations. So let me save it. Check for the syntax error. Okay. Yeah. So you can see here. I got a miss. One of the warning is what? Uh, view ignores client dependency of the base tables. I have not selected the client field from VB AP table now. That's why it is giving me a warning. In your client field is already to already what was taken from what? VBA table. That's why I don't want to repeat that. So save it. Check for the syntax. And what is the other warning I got? Not all the base tables are linked with join condition. So it is giving a warning that you are creating the table on two tables, but you didn't give any join condition. I will not give. Let's see what happens. I'll activate this. One second during activation. Do you want to display the log? Yes. Okay. So I got some warning here. Key field VB APF and MND it is missing because from VB AP table I have not selected the key fields because already MND and WebLen is taken from what VB AK table. Okay. So no issues. I can ignore that. Is it activated or not? Yes, it is activated. Okay. Now let me check the contents. So if what is the condition I give? 4970 to 4975. First, let me go to VBAK table. In the VBAK table, let me check between 4970 to 4975. How many records are there? How many records are there? Six records are there. If I exhibit this, yes, 7071, 72, 73, 74, and what? 75. Okay, all the sales documents are available. So between this range, how many items are there? I'll go to VBAP table 4970 4975. Number of entries are 21. 21 entries are there. So 70 has got four items. 71 has got only one item. Again, 724, 734, 4 items, 75 also four items. Overall 21. So now my expected result also should be what 21 records only now. Because why 21 records database view created on multiple tables follows inner join. Database view created on multiple tables follows inner join. What is the concept of inner join? Each entry of the left hand side table will be compared with what? The rows of what right hand side table. If the matching row is found, then only it will pick the data. So here left hand side we have six rows, right hand side we have 21 records. All are dependent. Now. So I should get what 21 records overall. Okay, because it follows what inner join. But if I go to contents, number of entries, I got what zero. I got zero, but I'm expecting what 21 records. But at the view level, I got only what? zero records the reason is if you observe the vba table or vbap sales document is character of 10 sales document is character of 10 so you can see it is prefixed with six zeros 4970275 is prefixed with six zeros even an item table also we have 21 records and you can see this prefix is what six zeros overall length of webland is what character of 10 so that's the reason when I'm in the condition also, since I'm art coding, if I enter it on the selection screen, even if you don't enter zeros, it will accept. It will take it as what zeros and value. But here it is not a selection screen here. We are art coding the value. So I need to manually take care of that. So since it is character of 10, if it is an integer field, zeros before the value doesn't have any what uh, doesn't have any meaning. But it sends the character field, the zeros has got meaning. So save it. Check for the syntax. Same warnings I got. Activate this. Right. So when I go to contents, how many records I should get? Not 21 records I should get because 
database view follows what database view created on two tables or database view created on multiple tables uses what inner join so if you go to contents at the view level number of entries how many got 1,12,692 1,12,692 records are there understood so this is nothing but called as what Cartesian product Cartesian product the number of entries in the first table into number of result and values in the second table so it is leading to Cartesian product so if I execute this this is invalid data this is an invalid data okay so what I have to do if you don't give the join condition it leads to a Cartesian product so I need to give the join condition so what is the join condition table is VBA K what is the common field web length even MNDT is also common field so MNDT here also what VBAP MNDT and then VBA K web length equal to what VBAP what VBL so when I press enter automatically you get the equal to operator here I got equal to and by default it follows what inner join so let me check for the syntax save it when I do syntax check right I don't have any errors or warnings I'll activate this right I'll activate this done it is activated okay now if I go to contents number of entry server 21 so it follows what inner join it follows inner join so I got the rate of 4970 it has got four items 4971 has got what one item 4972 again four items so database you create on multiple tables always uses what inner join and whenever we create the database view on multiple tables you must provide the join condition by equating the logically related fields otherwise the result will lead to what Cartesian product now let me check whether I can use this view in my select query so let me write a select query so first of all I will not use any join I will not use any join directly I'll what directly I will uh, write the select query so I require internal table now so let me declare the internal table tv underscore sales I want uh, some print somewhat VBA table and the VBA table so I'll take weblen type VBA K mission Kepler. First, I'll not use any joints. take two fields from item table then so these are the six fields from what both the tables I'll create an internal table create the work area now by using single select query I should get the data from these two tables so select uh, weblen is part of both the tables and prefix with what table name select web VAK weblen then ERD80 is also part of two tables ERD80 and then ERZD then ERNA okay then I want uh, 
POSNR and MATNR, which is part of those VBAP table from what VBAK, also what inner joint VBAP, and we have to use a joint condition on VBAK of web length is equal to the VBAP of what web length into table into table. What is the internal table? T underscore what sales where Weblen in where Weblen in I'll just give the values directly one two three four five six four nine seven zero four nine seven zero seven one. 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4, 7, 5. Well, we're blending 7, 0, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Right, so here I'll say if size of R C is equal to zero, if size of R C is equal to zero, okay, let me count the number of records. Okay, or directly I'll say here, right, number of records. Okay, how do you get the count by using the system field? What size DB count? One second, please. Number of records is side db count, okay, and also what end if I get loop and display also. Let me loop and display loop at t underscore sales into w underscore sales and loop. Then here I'll say write w underscore sales iPhone web blend. Like that, you display the required field. So I'm using inner joints in my select query. ERDAT, ERZDT, ERNAM, then item number. What is this? Pivo, SNR, then material number. Done. So I got the, I'll get the data. So and look. Else, I'll just give a message no data. Write what? No data. Done. So, when I execute this, column name weblen is ambiguous. Okay. So, we are using the weblen in where condition, and my select statement contains two tables. So, I need to tell SAP from which table you want to compare. So, from VBAK of weblen in. Done. Save it, check for the syntax, no errors. So when I execute, when I execute this, I got the number of records is what? 21. I got the required data. I got the required data working fine. Now I'm using what? I'm using joints in my select query. So can we avoid the join in the select query? Yes, we can create the view and we can do it. So what I'll do, already create the view. So let me comment this part. I'm commenting this part. So what I'll do here, here I'll say, already the view is created now. What is the view I created? Z645 DB view two, Z645 DB view two. So here I'll say, TY underscore sales. I'll directly include that view. Let me check whether I can include that view instead of declaring individual fields. I'll say, here I'll say, what? Include structure or include type, I can say. Include structure, include type. Include type, I'll go for Z645 DB view 2. Z645 DB view 2. Then let me close the 
types types end of what t underscore sales done understood we shall declare individual fields i'm directly including the view only so this should be possible then i declare the internal table then here i'll say select dot star select star from what is my database view name z645 db view 2 z645 db view 2 it uh, it contains six fields and also contains a selection condition so i'll just simply say z select star from z645 db view 2 into table t underscore what sales understood z645 db view 2 is not a table it is a view it is a view so i'm trying to use my database view in my select query i'm trying to use the database view in the select query so what is the change you observed in the earlier select statement we were using the joints here i created the database view with those two tables by giving the join condition at the view level and then directly i am giving the view in the select state so i should be able to get what same data earlier i got 21 records when i'm explicitly using the inner joint so when i execute now yes i got the same data here also i got number of records you got 21 only so what is the meaning database view created on multiple tables always uses what inner joint so we got the number of records here Okay, we got the required number of records. Hope it's clear to everyone. So using too many joints in the select query may degrade the performance slightly. So one of the technique to improve the performance is what? You create the views. Create the views on those dependent tables and directly use the view in your select statement. So to summarize, database view can be created on either one table or what multiple tables and it supports both projection and selection means projection means we can select the required fields and selection means we can give conditions on table data access another point is what a database view created on single table can have the maintenance status as read only or read and change read and change means i can perform all database operations at the view level any changes made to the data at the view level will reflect okay will one second will reflect what will reflect all the records will, re will reflect the corresponding data in the base tables okay if a database is created on, sing on multiple tables the maintenance status is always what read only the maintenance status is always read only it means i can only view the data i cannot do any other database operations well, so this and another point is we cannot generate table maintenance for database views we cannot generate table maintenance for database views done so any questions related to database views done okay now let me go for what projection view projection view is very simple the main agenda of projection view is to hide the original table fields the main agenda of projection view is what to hide the original table fields and another part is a projection view can be created only on one table can be created only on what one table and it doesn't support uh, selection means if the scenario is if you want to expose the complete table data but with limited access to fields we'll go for what projection view so let me create the projection view so i'll give the name as z645 what projection view create i'll choose projection view continue short description 
And in the view field stack, it is asking the base table. So as I told you, a projection view can be created only on what single table. So I'll give the table name as something K one Then I'll select the required fields. Okay. So here you can see. Okay, I'm selecting some required fields. This is nothing but projection. Out of 215 fields, I'm giving access only to what five fields, and I don't have any selection. Means in what scenarios we'll go for projection views when we are sure to share but we are too sure to sure to expose the complete table data but want to hide the original table fields then we'll go for what projection view so out of 215 fields i'm giving access only to a few fields then since it is only a single table maintenance status can be read only or what read and change so even if i choose read and change let the what status would be display maintenance allowed. Let me save it. Check for the syntax error. Right, view is consistent. Let me try to activate the projection view. It gets created in the database. So projection view is what created. Done. Okay. Now can I use this projection view in my database tables? Let me check. So here. I'm able to use database view in my what select statement. Let me check whether I can use it. I can use the projection view or not. So here I'll see types begin of by underscore customer. I'll try to include that projection view include type z645 projection view types end of what ty underscore customer okay so when i do syntax check i don't have any errors let me declare the internal table data t underscore customer type table of ty underscore customer ty underscore customer and then I'll create a work area w underscore customer type ty underscore customer. Then I'll write the select statement or select start from what is my projection view z645 or projection view into table. What is the internal table t underscore what customer? Okay, so when I do syntax check, I don't have any errors. Okay, so let me just display the count of records if size of r is equal to zero i'll say write side db count i'm just printing the number of records fetched by my select statement so when i execute this no syntax errors when i execute i got 8510 records so what is the meaning projection view also i can use it in my select queries Okay, so the difference between database view and projection view is what? Database view can be created on what? One or more tables. Whereas projection view can be created only on what? Single table. A database view supports both projection and selection. Whereas a projection view supports only what? Projection. It doesn't support what? Selection. Okay. And let me check whether I can generate table maintenance for projection view. I'll choose what it is. No, it is grayed out. So what is the meaning? I cannot generate table maintenance, but projection view. It is ruled out. That's it. That's about the projection view. Any questions? Now let me go for what is the other type of view maintenance view okay so maintenance view also i can create it on one table or i can create it on what multiple tables okay so the main purpose of maintenance view is the main purpose of maintenance view is uh, i need to i need to get the fields from what multiple tables 
I need to give access to our multiple tables data as a single object, as a single object. Understood? What is the difference between database view and maintenance view is? Database view, we cannot generate table maintenance, whereas maintenance view, we can generate what? Table maintenance. That is one difference. Another difference is database view, if you are creating a multiple tables, we must give the join condition. We must give the join conditions by by equating the uh, logically related fields. In case of maintenance views, okay, the joint uh, we can select multiple tables which are having the foreign key relationship, which are having the foreign key relationship. So based on that foreign key relationship only, the joint condition will be provided by SAP itself. You may not give any joint conditions. Okay, so let me go for. Yeah, we have the VBA key table. Or let me go for K1 table. Right, so this is a K1 table. Right, this is a customer number. Okay, let me check whether we have any primary key. So I'll go to what, sorry, whether we have any foreign keys. When I click on this, no, it's not there. I'll go to the other table, VBAK. In the VBAK table, we have a field what? KNKLI, customer's account number. I'll just choose this. Yes, it contains a foreign key. Done. So there is a foreign key relationship between what? There is a foreign key relationship between VBA key and what? K one table. What is the check table here? K never. So keep this in mind. So now I'll create the maintenance view. So I'll say Z. I'll give Z 645 uh, what? M view. Okay, Z 645 M view. Create. I'll choose what? Maintenance view. Done. I'll give the description. Let me give it as maintenance view on what? Maintenance view on what? K1 and what? VB AK. Done. Okay. Table selection and joint definition only possible with relationships. I'll take what? VB AK. Understood. I'm giving only one table. I cannot give multiple tables directly. Understood. So it is based on what foreign key. If it is a database view, we have to give the multiple tables manually. So here I gave VBA key. I'll click on relationships. If I click on relationship, it will show you, it will show me all the tables to which it has got the foreign key relationship. Okay, so one of the table is what K1. So if I if I choose this, yeah, I can see VBA key K1 done. I'll just select that entry. Yes, I got it. Understood. So here I selected that uh, combination automatically. The joint condition is what proposed automatically. The joint condition is proposed based on the foreign key tables I selected. Done. Understood. This is the first difference in case of database view. In case of database view, uh, we need to provide the multiple tables manually and we need to provide the joint condition manually. Even if you don't provide the join condition there, there is no issue. It leads to what Cartesian product that we have discussed in the beginning. But whereas here, maintenance view, I can create on multiple tables, but the tables will be provided based on the foreign key relationship. And based on the foreign key table selected, automatically the join conditions are proposed. I'll go to view fields. Yeah, by default, it is taking the primary key fields. I'll select some other fields also. I'll take VVAK, I'll take ER, DAT, and what ER, ZDT. Done. Let me select some fields from K11 table. I'll select customer number and uh, land one. Two fields I'm selecting. Done. There are the two fields. Then selection conditions. You can give the selection conditions here. Okay. Done. If you want, you can give the selection condition, you can ignore it. Now, another difference is 
uh, if you create the database you have multiple tables we have seen that maintenance status is always what read only maintenance status is always read only but in case of maintenance view if you create the maintenance view on multiple tables also the maintenance status can be anything it can be read only it can be read chain delete and insert read only means only read access read chain delete and insert means i can perform all the four database operations read and chain means i can read and modify and this is read and change this is related to hr about to so just ignore it time specific constraint is that okay i can select either of these options okay if i choose this one it supports what all the four operations so this is another difference between database view and what maintenance view okay so done let me save it check for the syntax errors key fields are not together at the beginning of the view okay so generally the key field should be at what beginning of the view so what i did here i selected erdat erzdt so let me make them as let me keep the key fields at the beginning so i'll just remove this erdat i'll remove this erzdt also now here i'll select the other fields from vba table let me check whether it will come or not then key fields at the beginning now let me save it check for the syntax errors no errors active address right so i created the maintenance view done now if i go to contents Achha. okay i'm a, i'm unable to view the content so compulsorily compulsorily we have to generate the table maintenance for what maintenance view okay we cannot generate table maintenance for database view and not projection view but for maintenance view it is mandatory to what generate so i'll go to utilities yes you can see it is enabled now table maintenance generator authorization group let me give the authorization group function group i'll give this one okay let it be two step continue create the table maintenance table maintenance is getting generated what is the name of the maintenance view z645 m view z645 m view right so request completed without errors done now now let me view the contents i'll go to contents yeah, now it is allowing me to what? open the contents okay so i'll go i got the data here okay let me restrict the data i'll go to selection conditions i'll choose k one i'll choose customer number and this some condition operator equal to what uh, i'll give some customer number as only what thousand i want the sales data of only this customer number thousand activate this that so if i view the contents it will show the data of only what customer number thousand Okay, so I got the data of only what customer number thousand, right? I can choose the entry. I can go to our details. Okay, this is thousand one now. I get thousand. How I got thousand one? Let me go and check once again. On what basis it is speaking? Oh, 
whatever fields I selected. I selected customer number, okay. I will go to contents. left hand set table is what uh, this will okay. so I'll do one thing thousand I gave find customer to thousand but why it is not picking Number is double one seven. Okay, so let's go back. KN1 client and KN1 customer to VBA ki KNK like. Okay, selection conditions. On what basis it is picking? Okay, I'll go to contents once again. One second. Sure. Oh, sir, maybe the language or the country key. No language should not there. Na? Okay. Language free not there. And my question is why it is not considering the selection condition? I'll give it to us.
Sayın Çünkü bir bir yekke olmayı. Alright. I'll select the required fields. We select key fields on KNM first. I'll select customer number land one done. Then I'll select the other fields from VBAK. ERD DAT and ERC DT. Done. Selection condition okay. As of now, I'm not giving. Save it. No syntax error activates. Right, so if I go to contents, this is the data I'm getting. Now, I'll select customer number. I'll get thousand. Check for the syntax error. Activate Then, if I go to contents, not K eleven. VBAK. I'll go to contents. On what basis it is speaking? Yes, any analysis on what basis it is speaking. Selection condition not considering. Okay, I'll give and K9 of Pinar also equal to what? Save it. Check for the syntax. Done. Activate this. <coughs> no, still the same issue. Yeah, anyone what could be analysis? I'm expecting only the data related to customer thousand. So that's a fine. Okay, I know one thing. Let me go to table maintenance. We already generated the table maintenance. Huh? Let me go to table maintenance. So I'll go to SM30. Okay, SM30. Z645 MBO. Here I am getting a 
and table maintenance I'm getting. I'll do one thing. Let me go back to my maintenance view. Actually, this is also not required. Let me delete this. Activate. Okay, customer number is what? 1000. Done. Now I'll come back to my table maintenance. Z645 MU. Maintain. Here I am getting and table maintenance is working fine, but uh, here I don't know why it is not working. Any idea, anyone? Table maintenance it is showing the valid thing only. Suppose now I'll change it to thousand I give and let me give it as or operator. I'll say VBAK of what Kuna is equal to thousand one. Okay, I'll activate this or I get or condition done. Now let me go back to table maintenance maintain. Thousand is there, but thousand one is not there. Might be there are no sales orders for that. Might be there are no sales orders for the particular thousand one. But why I'm not getting here is. Uh, So and so was modified during the run. Okay. Same thing I got done. Okay, I'll check it offline. Why it is not showing in SC eleven? But in maintenance, in maintenance, it is showing the valid data only. But here only, I am not sure why it is not showing. Let me remove everything. I am not giving any selection condition. Now, if I go to table maintenance. I should get all the data. So I'll go to SM30, Z645, so and so. Yes, this is fine. This is fine. I'm getting all the data. Now, once again, let me come back here. I'll come back to my maintenance view. I'll give the condition once again. I'll give it on K one customer number. Equal to thousand. Let me activate this. Then it is activated. Let me go back to the maintenance view. I'll click on maintain. Oh, what happened? This is the maintenance view. I hear the condition. Is it valid only one, two, three thousand? Yes.
actually it follows left total line just i'm trying to analyze this okay left hand side is kma1 right hand side is vba okay thousand let me check all the inputs okay yeah Again, activate this. Okay, this is fine. I'll give left hand side this one. Let me give this as VBAK. Do it. Still same thing. Hmm. I'm seeing the selection condition. But earlier I got thousand. Now I got thousand then. Six thousand is currently. Yeah, so it is not reflected to a table maintenance. I'll do one thing that will regenerate. I'm regenerating the table maintenance. Is completed without errors. Okay, done. Let me regenerate. Maintenance view seven thirty. Yeah, now I got it. So, okay, it's working. So, what is happening is hmm, what is happening is uh, it is not adjusting the table maintenance, just like table. Also, we have seen the issue if you add any fields or if you what change the data type, okay. And if you include any structure, those changes will not reflect to existing table maintenance. So in order to reflect what you have to do, you have to regenerate the table maintenance. Here also same thing. Okay, so I give thousand. Okay, let me give thousand one now. I'm giving thousand one. Let me activate this. Then it is activated. Yeah, here it should not reflect. And click on maintain. Yeah, I got thousand because it is not adjusted. So let me go back here. I'll regenerate the table maintenance. So it is table maintenance generator. Let me delete this. I will regenerate the table maintenance. Then let me just go back and regenerate. If it is, I get 1001 now. Table maintenance generator. Function group is what so and so. Then propose the screen numbers. Create. Right, request completed without else. Let me activate this once again. Okay, now go back to the table maintenance and just refresh it. 
SM30 19 Good, thousand one working fine. Okay, so working fine. So anyhow, I'll show one more example on Monday. Okay, Monday we'll see one more example on maintenance view. Then we'll go to what uh, another type of view. What is that? Help view. But before going to help view, we need to discuss about search help. Okay, so Monday what I'll do is I'll start with maintenance view only. So the problem is it is not adjusting the table maintenance. So I'll repeat this maintenance view once again on Monday. So just to close the session, I'll just repeat all the things. So views are created to add what original table names to add the original field names to restrict the table data access. Okay. And then database view yes, such before that just to wind off. Let me check whether I can use maintenance view in my select statement. We are able to use what we are able to use database view as well as projection view in the select query. Now first let me say ty underscore I'll say sales. I'm trying to use a maintenance view. I don't think it is possible. Let me check Z645 M view done. The rest of the same uh, ty underscore what sales ty underscore sales and then here also I'll say t underscore what sales then w underscore what uh, sales ty underscore sales and here also I'll say ty underscore what sales yeah z645 m view z645 m view into table t underscore sales so let me check save it check for the syntax good 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 yeah what is the error i got here z645 m view is not defined in the abab dictionary as a table or a projection view or data view so it is understood that we cannot use maintenance view in the select queries we can use only the table we can use only the projection view and what database view maintenance view and lp view we cannot use it in the select statement so that is what is the understanding okay so anyway i'll show one more example of maintenance view on monday class so to wind up i'll just uh, tell the difference between these three views database view can be created on one or more tables projection view only on one table maintenance view i can create on one table or multiple tables but if you're creating the maintenance on multiple tables, it should be foreign key relationship tables only based on the table selected. The joint condition is proposed by SAP itself. Whereas in case of database view, you need to select the multiple tables manually and we need to propose the joint condition manually. That is one point. And next point is what in case of database view created on multiple tables, the maintenance status is always read only. But whereas here, in case of maintenance, you create on multiple tables, maintenance status can be read only or read, chain, delete, and insert. So I generated the table maintenance for what? Maintenance view, which is created on two tables now. So I can do all changes here. See, I'll click on new entries. I'm able to insert the data. I can delete the data. I can modify. I can view all the database operations. I can perform on what? Maintenance view. And we cannot generate table maintenance for database and projection view but we can generate table maintenance for maintenance view and we can use database and projection view in the select query we cannot use maintenance view in the select queries okay so on monday's class i'll take one more example and maintenance view so that will be more clear done so the problem was uh, since we have the table maintenance concept for maintenance view it is not getting refreshed. So I need to delete the existing table maintenance and regenerate the table maintenance. That was the issue. Right. So any questions before I wind up, please ask. Children, so I'll wind up. We'll continue on Monday with another example on what maintenance view.